and welcome to the Stage Worthy Arts instructional video for the Giant Dragon. Your dragon's going to arrive in a shipping box that is 36 inches tall, 42 inches wide, and 48 inches deep. Included in your box will be a dragon head, a dragon stand which comes in two parts, a dragon neck support pole, the crossbar support pole, the midsection of the dragon with a pull clip attached, the tail section of the dragon, two arms, two legs, two wings, two pole support harnesses, a packing list insert, and a note to puppeteer insert. The first thing you're going to do is put your stand together. It comes in two parts. Just connect them together in the middle. If you tap it in securely, there should be no need for additional screws. This is your dragon head. Insert the dragon head pole into the front of the stand where it's labeled head pole. Attach the neck support pole to the base of the dragon's neck. This will be a good time to check and make sure that all the mechanics are working well. Now for the midsection of the dragon. It comes with two poles. The wing pole goes into the center portion of the stand and the booty pole goes in the rear section of the stand. Now attach the crossbar support pole under the belly of the dragon. At this point, you're going to want to look inside the belly of the dragon and make sure all the ribs are pulled apart and untangled. Now we're going to attach the tail by connecting the matching Velcro tabs. Let's move on to attaching the legs. Grab the base of the leg with one hand while using your other hand to twist the leg onto the hip joints. Be sure to push it all the way up to the marked line. This is your dragon wing. The front of your dragon wing will point towards the head, while the back three tips will point towards the rear. The outside of the wings are smooth, and the inside will show the wing structure. This is the wing joint attachment, and this will be your pull cord lever. Hold your wing and place your hand underneath the wing joint. Take your other hand and grasp the shoulder extension. Now reach up under the shoulder crossbar while twisting the wing attachment on. Take the pull cord and thread it through the hole at the top of the shoulders, then again through the top eye hook, then all the way down to the hole that leads to the underbelly of the dragon and into one more eye hook. Repeat this for the opposite wing. Now attach your pull clip to the pull cords and at this point, your dragon should be able to fly with the simple pull of a cord. Now, all you should have left is the neck. Make sure the fins are all facing the same direction as the fins on the body. Just like the tail, you're going to attach the corresponding Velcro tabs. Then, take the front of the neck and attach it to the back of the dragon's head. The last and final step is to store your pole harnesses under the dragon. That way, they're out of the way and ready to go. And that's it! Your dragon is now ready for its puppeteers. Be sure to find the note to puppeteers insert inside of your dragon box. Feel free to make a copy of this to post backstage. Start by disconnecting the neck and tail from the dragon's body. Take the legs off using a simple twisting motion. For the wings, you're going to first remove the wing pull clip, then reattach it to the eye hook. Next, unthread the cords and twist as you pull off. Take your crossbar off, place yourself in front of the body, put one foot on the stand, Use both hands to grab the pole inside the dragon's body, twist, and pull up. Once that pole is free, walk towards the back pole and repeat the same thing. Now, place it down like a giant lollipop. You can now remove the next support pole from the dragon head. Place one foot on the stand, firmly grasp the head pole, twist and pull up. Always lay the head down on its back. Take your stand, Place your foot on it and remove the section that's not attached with screws. Before your show closes, make sure that you've contacted your shipping agent to confirm Monday's pickup and ensure a timely return. Please be mindful of how you pack the dragon in order to avoid any shipping damage. Take the midsection of the dragon and place it in the box diagonally. 
Place the head in at the same angle but opposite direction. Next will be the stand which will be tucked in at the side. The wings are going to be placed together and tucked in at the opposite side inside the cardboard insert to ensure that they keep their shape. Place the remaining body parts comfortably inside the box, which includes four legs, the neck section, tail section, two pole harnesses, and the neck support pole inside of the crossbar. If you have any additional Shrek rentals, place them inside the same box. Please refer to their packing list as well to make sure that everything is included and returns home safe and sound. Thank you so much for renting with Stageworthy Arts, and remember, Break a leg, but don't break a wing.